story. This is the story of. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, the Midnight Freak, coming to you one more again. Work on a night shift. Uh, as always, let me get some shout out and love to my people. First and foremost, the man who did my background for my page, Barry Loco, also known as Shadow Luigi. Please check out his page, subscribe to his channel, maybe hook you up also. Next, a man I've been wanting to give a shout out for a while, but as always, I always forget. Goes by the name of Tony Renda, Tony Rendy, also known as PM Prime. Check out his page. Up and coming YouTuber who does video reviews and just talk about the industry like everybody else, man. Real cool cat. Check him out. Uh, next, my man Nintendo Nintendo Domination, a guy over in Europe who does the Nintendo channel on YouTube, dedicated to Nintendo and his games. And I think he's trying to go to YouTube. I think sorry, I think he's trying to go to E3 this year, trying to get donations. So please check him out, man. If you want to, give him a little cash. It's up to you. Last but not least, a close personal friend, a friend of one of my longtime friends, go has a page go by the name Nolan Productions. If you're into PS3, Xbox 360 content, HD, great quality videos, music videos, please check him out, man. He's been doing some videos for a while and haven't really got no shine on. And, you know, when you don't get any, any love from comments and views, you feel like what you're doing is pointless, so you end up stop doing it. So please, if you're into PS3, in the Xbox Switches games, please check them out. Okay, tonight's episode, Work on Night Shift, instead of being some random thought like I want it to be, let's talk about what's popping right now. And it's what's usually popping, the video game industry, video games in general. What's the hottest thing subject right now? Project Cafe. If you've been on websites recently, you might have seen this so-called leak uh, list of supposed Project Cafe games that are going to appear at launch and thereafter. I'm calling, you know, bullcrap, bullshit as uh, unusual as usual on most of these uh, games. You know, especially the third-party games, exclusive time content, things of that nature. But you know, whatever. What surprised me was the so-called Nintendo. Uh, list the four games that Nintendo is supposedly working on that you're gonna launch with Project Cafe. One was supposed, excuse me, one was supposedly a game that was a mixture of Wave Race and 1080 snowboarding. Okay, another one was Endless Ocean. Endless Ocean in general is a run the mill, you know, it's one of those released during the uh, low part of the year when that's too many games being released you just throw it out there it's not a huge seller so I call kind of I'll kind of I call kind of bullcrap on that too but then it was one other game that was kind of interesting it could be fake but you know what I kind of hope it's not this game supposedly was a game that uses the me in a multiplayer situation now, if Project Cafe is supposed to have a multiplayer aspect to it, controllers that have screens on them, and you need four of them to play multiplayer games, this would be perfect. And if, and if Nintendo doesn't have an idea for this, I want to give them one right now. So hear me out. Okay, as we all know, last generation, probably the most important thing Nintendo did was create the Miis. Yes, I know Avatar has been around a lot longer, lot longer before Miis were created, but still, Nintendo brought Miis to home consoles. After Nintendo did it, Microsoft came out with Avatars, and Sony came out with PlayStation Home. So Miis are important, and they're important innovation in gaming. And they still are important, especially on the Nintendo side. They, they're in a lot of games you can play as your character and, and enjoy the game a lot more than usual. From sports games, to uh, all the Wii uh, related games. Now imagine, imagine if Nintendo decided to make a four player multiplayer game in the vein of Monster Hunters, okay? So it's you, three of your friends, hopefully online as well, playing in a type, in a type of Monster Hunter game for your Miis. But it don't have to be Monster Hunter. Imagine a action game. A beat 'em up, a slasher, hack and slash, 
going through stages with your me's, coming to the end of the stage of fighting bosses. Imagine this. Imagine, let's say, we make it more like Monster Hunter. A game that requires you to level up. Uh, requires you to buy and upgrade your weapons, your gear. How can Nintendo do this and definitely make it a system seller? Make a lot of money from it? How about surround it in the content of Captain and the Game Master? Remember that cartoon back in the 90s, early 90s? Captain and the Game Master. A game where you, your me, and your friends me travel throughout the video game worlds. But yet, the Nintendo worlds. How cool would that be? Your four me's going to Super Mario World, going through the Metro Universe, going to Hyrule, going to, you know, Kid Icarus, Angel Island, whatever you want to call it. Imagine. Imagine if you had the ability to use powers from those universes. If you're a Mario, if you're a, uh, a me, want to use Mario powers, you can get fireballs and ice uh, and ice flower uh, weapons. You can use Tanuki suits, uh, raccoon tails, capes, Karubi shoe, stars. Imagine if your me is a warrior base and you want to use Zelda content, master sword, shields, ice rods, fire rods, hook shots. Imagine if you are in the Metro Universe. You have all those laser guns that Samus used. Maybe even turn us into a little ball and set bombs. Kid Icarus, archery type character with bows, shields, uses the three sacred treasures. Donkey Kong Universe, melee attacks, you know, picking stuff up, slamming, wrestling. How cool would a game like that actually be, man? I mean, honestly, I think it would be real awesome if they actually put some some real depth and put some really try to do it like I said use the Captain N universe style where basically your me's go to different universes and fight your way through several stages within a universe in a kind of beat em up Double Dragon 2 type experience but you use your weapons and as you're fighting you're leveling up and getting stronger and you're upgrading your, 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 your gear you're upgrading your weapons where you can go from fireballs to whatever else or you can get a regular sword and level up all the way to the master sword however you want to do it and then finally at the end of each stage or mid stage you fight a boss a boss is like a main character from that universe one in the Mario level you fight Wario or you fight Bowser or you fight Ward Whoever in the Zelda universe, you go from fighting Ganon to you know any other popular Zelda ca Zelda character. In the Metro universe, you fight Ridley, you fight Mother Rain, you fight Kraid. How awesome would that be, y'all? I think if Nintendo really sat down and put their thoughts together, they could make a game like that. And you know it doesn't have to be all graphically impressive, but using the power of the Project Cafe, maybe it could have a whole bunch of characters on the screen. So I'm thinking like I'm saying, take Samurai Warriors, take Sega Kubosura, and then throw in a boss fight on a level of Monster Hunters. Go through levels, fight in multiple characters, multiple generic characters from that universe, Goombas, Troopas, whatever, Octorots, you know, whatever, and then get to the boss fight versus a, a main character from that, uh, from that universe. Well hell, you don't have to use Miis. How about a Smash Brothers type game, but a real, a, finally a real Smash Brothers adventure game, where you can use the famous Nintendo characters in a four-player experience, and you go through stages, and then you come to the end, fight boss fights, in a Monster Hunter style experience, four-player communication, leveling up, custom cu customization. I think if Project Cafe has Project Cafe has a game like that. I think that could set it apart. It definitely gives them a lot of, uh, you know, love in, in Japan. Cause Japan, that was hot right now. They love the Monster Hunter experiences, the multiplayer experiences, and we all know we love our Nintendo uh, characters and content. So you can give us a game where we can use our favorite characters or even our Mii's in a, a multiplayer type experience like Brawl. It definitely gonna be huge. So I was thinking about that when I saw that listing in the so-called uh, game release. Uh, the link information of games for Project Cafe. I don't know if it's true or not, but honestly, that's one of the few things I've read that I hope that actually is true. I hope Nintendo is actually working on a multiplayer type 
game, me experience, real characters, it don't matter. Just to add something to the portfolio. Because honestly, there's nothing else like it. You can say maybe that uh, Ratchet and Clank Off of One or the what Heroes for uh, the uh, what was that other game Heroes for Hire or whatever or you know the game with all the Sony characters. Yeah, something like that, but better than that. I mean, a real live action game, something like Streets of Rage, but with Nintendo characters. Something like Double Dragon 2, but with Nintendo characters, or at least Mii's. There's a lot of potential in that, y'all. Well, I hope you enjoyed my idea, man. I just about want to throw it out there while I had this chance. You know, I'm just sitting around, waiting for the clock to hit, you know, time for me to check out so I can go home and get some sleep. Tell me what you think about my idea, y'all. This is your boy, the Midnight Freak, aka Joe City on the One. And I'll see you next time. Peace.